Hello everyone, this is Lolly. I am bringing you this today. This is the new Designer's Choice die set from Tonic Studios and it's called Home Sweet Home. It makes adorable little houses that you can make an entire village out of if you so desire. So let's get started. To make the basic house, you're going to need two of these. And then you can see there are more dies here that fit uh, on the front panel, the sides of the house. There's a fence. There are roofing shingles, this one and this one. Butterfly, a tag. We've got two florals here and here. Mushrooms, little butterfly, big butterfly. These are little pebbles that make little stones that you can use to put on the building or if you, if you so desire. Make a little walkway up to the house. We've got a semicircle window and a couple of leaves here and here. And then we have a watering can and some flower pots and a door knocker. So I have already pre-cut um, the paper for this and I am using pink and uh, you will see why really soon because I'm going to match my craft room and make something. So what you need, you do need a bone folder, you do need your, your glue here. And this is the order in which I have found it's best to assemble mine. So it's totally up to you whether you uh, choose a different manner. Also, I have pre-cut my roofing shingles and I have eight of each of the two. They are, they are offset, they're not identical. So, you know, you stagger them as you go up, up the roof there. So I have found it's easier to score this and get my roof angle, my roof pitch glued in and then put my shingles on. You can, and I would depth, I think it's easier also to decorate these parts before doing that, uh, before assembling the whole thing. Uh, again, it's up to you, but I do want to get my scoring, my, um, excuse me, burnish on the score lines so that they are used to moving. Okay, so we have the side and bottom for the house front, okay? And then we move over here. This is the bottom of the house. This is the side of the house. And then this, this is a little flap across the top that you can use in a couple ways. So when it's assembled, you can use the little tab here to put into the slot so it's opening and shutting. Or you can use these and do a ribbon closure, which I've done, but I found if I do the ribbon closure, I don't really need this part. And as a matter of fact, it's in my way. So I want to remove those on mine. Uh, but you can do whatever you want. Um, I think if I was going to use uh, the use them and the slot, I might fold these down inside the project. The way this gets folded is there's two score lines right here. Fold the bottom one toward you and then the next one away from you. And that part is going to get glued. Here you go. That part is going to get glued to itself like that. And that gives you the roof pitch as you see it right there. Before I do that, I do want to do this. I have pre-cut these little fences out and there is a little vine going across there and you don't have to color that in, but I used the Peppermint Cream Nouveau glitter marker on that and I think that is so adorable. So let me get my fences on there. You know how you want to push down on an item once you have glued it on, and you can't do that when the whole box is assembled. It's a lot easier to get it glued on here, and I need to glue the other one as well. Now, this one, remember I showed you how this gets folded down. I'm going to turn it sideways like this. I'm actually going to glue inside here. Um, Then I am going to pinch that shut and I really advise you clamping this for a good while because it's going to take a lot of strain. Okay, so same thing, we're going to fold toward me on the bottom of those two lines and away from me on the top of the two. We're going to put the glue inside on that flap. I'm going to 
close that. So I'm going to discuss the roofing material here while that's setting up. So I want to show you the two styles here. This one, ha this one has a full semicircle on the side and this one has like a half circle. So you want to alternate those like that, but they're going to overlap as well. But you see that then it, alter it uh, staggers the little circles in there. Now, I am not distressing these pieces, but I have tried on this roofing material, it really helps to have this distressed. It really brings out the, um, really brings out the uniqueness and the individuality of all the shingles. You don't even have to put a roof on it in, you know, specifically. Okay, actually, let's do this out. Now, again, if you want to decorate that now, you can. This piece here has a beautiful lattice work on it with greenery that you can color in. This one has a door and a little mini door right there. And you've got that semicircle window. I want to flip that up, and I want to work on my shingles on this one. And so what I'm going to do, because of this, I'm going to put a coaster under my work just because this is kind of angled down away from me and I really want to get it up where I can see it better. I'm going to start with one of the ones that's got the full circles and I'm going to glue right across the top. And what I did was I cut eight of each. I'm going to center that down here just low enough that you can't see the pink underneath the, in all the little cracks between the circles. Now I have, um, my first houses, I got six layers. My next house layers, I got seven. So it's kind of how you work it. And then this one goes down over that. Okay, I'm going to finish finish this part off camera. Okay, and now when I get to this last one, because I'm not using that little slot, I can go ahead and cover that up and go all the way up to that last score line. If you don't like this pink color, you can cut another set out with your uh, the dye and just cover that up, or you can ink over it. But how cute is that? And imagine a door on there. Okay, so I'm going to do this one off camera. So I have two of these now, and aren't they adorable? So my next thing is I'm going to glue the front of the house to the bottom piece and get my Teflon bone folder handy. I'm going to hold that for a second, and then I'm going to lay it down and really give it a good burnish. And the same here. Now in this process, if you find your sides coming apart, you know you're going a little too fast and you need to slow down and really let your glue hold before you proceed to the next step. It's important that all the glue holds before you proceed. And now for this, I need to make sure that these sides are not sticking up so much. I need to get a good 90 degree angle on those before I glue the bottom of this one to the bottom of that. And you know that your two roof pieces should be opposite each other when you're assembling this. Okay, to put those in there. And I'm looking at the bottom of it. And I want to get in there. I'm gonna use the bone folder to really push that together. Sure, I've got that lined up. Okay, now you might want to pause a second. The next step is just to put the glue on these sides. Put your hand inside the house and line that up. Now I, I'm pushing down on the roof a little bit to really help that to stay. So when I'm done assembling this one, I'm going to show you the other ones I made, and I think you're going to be uh, just as tickled as I am about the possibilities of what can be done with this set.
And of course, you can always use these as treat boxes. Wouldn't these be adorable to give, you know, think about a realtor giving one of these to uh, people they sell homes to. <laughs> you can make little schoolhouses of these and give them to teachers. Now, because you can see, uh, you know, your box is a little soft, so it is easier for me, I think, to decorate these before adding the, uh, before assembling it, because that way I can put it flat down on my table and really uh, push my embellishments on. Now, I am not going to super decorate this one, and you will see why. Okay, I want to get some ribbon for this. I would love it if I had some pale pink, and all I can find in the narrow organza is this uh, is white. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to measure with enough to come back to the middle and tie a bow. So it's somewhere around there. I'm going to look, and that is about 14 inches, but I think about 15 would be better. And you can thread this however you want. So, And if you know that you're just using these as like a village, you don't even have to put a ribbon. You can glue the tops together. But by using the ribbon without gluing it, you can always open them up. Okay, so here's what I did. I went through one hole and I'm just going to go in and out like that. My first thought was that I would tie two ribbons this way and I ended up not doing that. So that gives me a little bow there. Very cute. And what I want to do here is I have some dies that are, let's see, this brand, it's lot 6501 for Momenta. It's an alphabet die set. And I cut out, I used the dies on foam, just craft foam, and I cut out an L. I'm using Fabri-Tac to adhere that. Now, the reason I put my initial on there is that I also made this one so for Lolly Palooza. So you know how I've been working on my craft room and I've been doing it in pink and in turquoise and in lavender. So these are beautiful cardstocks from Tonic Studios and I don't have the right color of turquoise. So when I do that, I'm going to make a third house and put a Z on there because I abbreviate Lolly Palooza LPZ. And I can put these up on my shelf, and I think they are going to be super adorable. Look at that. So I decided to step in here and do a quick edit and add a little scallop border coming down the house here. So I have this layering die set from Tonic Studios, and this is the scalloped squares. And I have taken the fourth from the largest in here and cut that out and I'm just going to get some pieces off of here. That's perfect. Let me cut the next one off. So on each one there's a I'm just cutting it right there at the um, end of the first circle there. I'm gonna have to untie There we go. I think that really adds something to the front. Okay, and I will do the other one off camera. So I just wanted to see what that looks like. It looks so much better. Back to the video. This house here. So I want to zoom in because you've got to see this brickwork here. So the little stone dies that's in the set, when I, um, I took the same colored cardstock as this, and I used the Nouveau Rose, Rich Rosewood ink, and I inked it over there so it would be uneven, like brick, real stones would be. And I just used the dies, and I cut out a lot of these stones and glued them all over. I used the door, and the door, hang, door knocker 
I didn't realize I hung it on upside down, but <laughs> now it looks like a kettlebell. I have this semi window there. I have the home sweet home here. That's part of the set. And then I also made another one as a tag hanging from the side. And I have the watering can in silver, the flowers in a flower pot, and I added Nouveau drops to the center of the flowers. And on the back, I, I have more stones and I just have another window. Isn't that really sweet? So there's that one. Okay, so I decided this one was so vintage looking that I wanted a nice pretty pastel one and I was in the Easter mood. So this is like an ivory, light ivory or cream colored cardstock also from Tonic Studios. I used their green linens to cut out the grass and then I also elevated two sections of the grass up on foam tape. I didn't uh, color in any of the green for the greenery on this. For the windows, I actually used Tonic Studios Dream Drops and it is so pretty. Um, it's a very frosty color. I used two of the butterflies on the roof. and Oh, this is also Tonic Studios Blue cardstock and I used blue dream uh, drops on there. And I just think it is so adorable. And it made me think of a really fun village, how you could make a village this could be like a school teacher's house or something, and this could be the local artist's house. See, see how you could get so creative with all these little houses that you could make with this die set. So I hope that inspired you. I will give you a link down below to where you can get your die set. Thank you so much, everyone, for watching.